Wait, I just wanted to do a little something. <clears throat> I think I've seen this question a few times now. Is this is our little pun scene, right? And if I hit play, we have our, you know, simple little thing where I put a name in, I connect to the master, I can create a room by a name, and we go here and we have a spawn point. <clears throat> right? Oh, okay, yeah, so life is good. Now, in most games, uh, like if you look at Among Us, we'll use that for an example. When you join a game, you you don't go right into the game. You kind of go to like a little lobby inside the game. And really, the way you want to set that up is really with, with multiple scenes. So I created another scene. There's nothing in the scene. Uh, like it's literally an empty scene. I saved it as, I called it scene three. So what I'm gonna do is in our little play scene here, um, or, I, or I suppose I could do it in scene three and go to scene two. It really doesn't matter. But anyways, I'm gonna we're gonna look at this play scene because it's already set up to go here anyways, and we're gonna say, okay, well, what if this is our lobby room, right? Where maybe you don't have the player. Uh, maybe everyone just has a chat open or maybe you have a player, I don't know, and you, you, you kind of wait for the game to actually start. And the way we, we're going to do that is I'm going to, after we've created this, the player, um, I'm going to, I'm going to check for is main. You, you probably don't really need to do this. Because uh, this should only update on the master anyways. So the count just flat out won't change. But whatever. It, it, it's a check that we'll put in. So if we are the master. Um, uh, we're going we're gonna to do this one now. This is actually going to fail on us. I'm going to do it every room. We're going to call it players in room. And then I'm going to int compare. And players in room. If we have say two players, if this is equal, uh, let's let's start game. You know, like let's load a different level and actually do stuff kind of idea. Which we're just gonna use pun load level, and we will use scene three. We're gonna load scene three. Now you, you might want to, you know, have this bring up a, a or just broadcast a event to all the players to run a countdown, right? Uh, where you would literally just on your player. Um, do, 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 right? On this guy, you would literally just have an FSM that would be. Uh, they're waiting, right? You'd have something here saying, "Hey, we need we need to start a countdown," you know. Type of idea. And if and if this triggers, then you know, run a canvas up here with a number and have it just start dropping down. Uh, and it's just for visuals really uh, meanwhile in here you could have broadcast event you would have something like this here saying broadcast all broadcast countdown and then um, this would and then you wouldn't actually do this part here for example we can say do wait You know, wait for five seconds, do a finish, and then and then do the load level. So let's, let's make this 10 seconds, right? <clears throat> and then that's it, right? Now, with that said, uh, if I go back and I actually try this, it's not going to work. And there's a reason for that. 
And the crappy thing is, <clears throat> I don't know if there's actually a way to make it work with the current actions. I, and I, I don't know why it's like that. But, you know, you aren't screwed because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I can help. So that's what we'll do. We're, we're going to fix this little issue, right? So we're going to have two clients here, right? I'm, I'm going to make this guy the master. So we'll give this room a name. Create a, create a name. So, okay, this guy's going to spawn over here. This guy is now going to join this room. So we join. Let's go spawn on the right. So now this guy's over here. And if we look at our level manager, we can see this ain't freaking working. Well, there's at least, well, there should be two players in here and it's still showing zero. Right? So, not working. We're screwed, right? Well, let's go fix that real quick. So if I go over to this scene and we go into this guy, I'm going to edit script. There's multiple ways to get this value. And this is now if I just scroll down. So what we're saying is our variable here that we're trying to run off of its value is coming from photon network count of players in rooms should work but i'm going to delete that and i'm going to say uh current room and then dot uh, player count there we go that's it simple fix And now, you know, we'll go back into the, our title, and we will. Well, now we'll do a build. So, for for anyone that's been trying to do it and can't seem to get that value to work, you know, you're not really to blame. That that action, to me, is 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 just using the wrong command. So again. We're gonna have two players here. And we have this guy connects to the master. We'll make this room, create it by name. And again, he'll spawn on the left. And this guy, he will also connect to the master and he's gonna join a random room. Okay, so that's join. Now I'm just gonna pause it because it should be counting down. And if I go over to the master, I can see we have two, right? So the in compare fired off. It is now broadcast this event and it's doing this wait for 10 seconds, which is where if on our players, on these guys, um, they've all received this countdown, right? So this countdown is where you would receive that so you would um, create uh, some sort of text or a count down here saying oh 10 seconds start counting down and when hit zero technically we, it doesn't have to actually do anything it's just a visual the only one that really matters is this one actually counting down here right so if I unpause that I pause. I don't know if I was going to mess anything up. Now it goes. Poof, it's it's loaded, right? Now we don't have our player here because we're in a different scene, and that's all. The other stuff is all part of a different scene. But same here. This guy's loaded over too, right? Everyone's loaded over. Everyone's now in scene three, right? So that's that's kind of how that works. And now you know. So we we had to modify one of the actions. That's one thing I've I've found. But overall, it's a pretty simple thing, right? We just the ma and so I, I'm I'm putting the master in here just as a safety, but I don't think this actually matters per se. It might with the command that I changed 
this too. So, you know, it, it's, it's simple to add. So you might as well add it. Said so in this, there's a slight change in the script there, but that's it. All right. And then all we're going to do said we're just we're going to broadcast and if you want if you want a number for this which i guess it really doesn't matter i mean you always could broadcast a number out to be counting down a number i suppose but this this works here right and if this is 10 seconds and everything's happening you would just you'd simply you know we'd say int add this is would probably be the easiest way to do this. Int add, and you would have a counter, and we're gonna add negative one. Oh, I wanna do that per second. Okay, you know what, we're gonna use float add because float can do per second. Per second, every frame, add negative one to some sort of counter counter float and counter float is going to be 10 and we will convert float to int uh, we're going to do the counter float to counter nearest every frame UI text set text Yes, I might as well show you guys this just in case. All right, and maybe this thing here has a text here. And we're gonna specify that to use a converted count or counter every frame. And because I don't we don't have a canvas, so I guess this thing needs a canvas first. Canvas, do, 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 do. and let's put the text. Oh wait, no, the canvas, the canvas is a text. Or this whole thing is a text. Okay, I guess I don't need a canvas then. All right, so we have this, but I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna deactivate them. And over here, I'm going to activate it. All right, so now we, we would just do that. So this text object is, uh, let's change the color so we can see it a little better. And let's make it a little bigger. I mean, it might be a little excessive, but we want to make sure the point it gets across, I suppose. And let's All right, well I guess that should be fine in reality we could have it here um, but we don't activate it there we activate it here Right, and you could always run a is mine just be, just before this too. Right, so where are we? We're in the level manager. So let's save. Let's go out. Open scene, main title scene, build and run. Oh, wrong guy. And again, we're just going to go click on, ba -do -ba -do. nope, not this one. Well, I mean, I guess, yes, that one too, but okay, hit play, because I can't just type things in without playing, because that would be weird. So we play, we create a room, and on this one, we say choose left, and over here, we connect the master, join random room. And you see the counter happening? It's happening there. I don't see it on this one though. Now, it, if I pause it, like it, well. All right, well. Anywho, uh, it, you know, it, it's there. It was happening. 
Uh, but yeah, not too sure why I didn't have it on this. You'd think I would have it on here long before I'd have it on anywhere else. Okay, so I'm gonna connect the master, hit play. Connect the master. Let's create a room. Spawn. And this guy can now join. Oh yeah, it is there. I was just apparently crazy. I didn't see it. it probably because it's white against the white background. But see, it's got a countdown now. They're both going. It, everything looks like it's insane. Even though in reality, the countdown is just a visual. It doesn't actually do anything um, other than just let the players know that something's happening. It's going to happen in 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Illusion. Lobbies inside your game. Separate scenes. See you in the next video.